what up guys welcome back to my channel this is zeva and welcome back to biological butterfly first of all i would like to thank all of you who have watched already my entry log of the previous part which i have uploaded long back ago and i got a lot of requests to do uh, some more examples to explain you guys first of all thank you for that and bear with me my voice is like this because i am having a cold don't worry my voice is not for all the time like this so let us begin with the video and let us learn something new and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing because i upload uh, educational type of video and something which will make you smile and entertain uh, uh, quite often and so you are at the right place so consider subscribing for me for this happy place so i have written some of the easiest easy steps for you guys to refer how to find angelog first look for the number before decimal whatever the number exists first have a close look here the numbers before the decimal point is 15 or 15 15 exactly then add plus 1 to ditto the number before the decimal don't change the number or do anything just take originally the number which exists before the decimal and add one you will get 16 now what do you do we have to do with this 16 let us see the number you get shows after how many digits decimal would occur so that means after 16 positive digits since this is a positive number your decimal would occur you can see it in example if you have it out please do comment then have a look at digits after the decimal now have a look at the digits which are after the decimal which is 1 2 then refer angelog table using those digits only you have to use this the number before the decimal just to find after how many digits the number uh, your decimal would occur and you have to find out angelog using the digits which occur after the decimal point add the mean difference if it exists first of all see this is our first example which was left by a subscriber i think so uh, see this is an example what if we have a two digit number without any decimal point first of all just remember that whatever number is given without decimal has a decimal point but after the number the 15 can be written as 15.0 so how you will find out antilog of it first of all by the rule of antilog directly take this number and in it add plus 1 you will get 16 that means after 16 digits your decimal point will occur since this number is positive that means after positive from left to right your decimal would occur again bear with my voice i am trying hard to explain you guys i hope you get it then what you have to do after decimal point whatever the number occurs you have to directly go into your antilog table and you have to find antilog of it since we have zero after decimal so find out antilog of zero in the column zero i will put an image now so antilog of zero in column zero is nothing but 1000 since the decimal point occurs after 16 digit number and if you are confused just multiply it like this and then calculate the rest afterwards you got 10 raised to 16 whatever you got this number here take it as raised to 16 you can add a decimal point by doing this and from here one decimal point will get deducted as you have already used up this decimal point in putting up decimal in this number since sometimes number aren't required so large so you can adjust it like this and the rest you will you are left with this so you got your entry log of 15 this is the second example i have set for you guys again take the original number which occur before the decimal point which is 3 then by the rule of antilog 
add 1, you will get 4. That means after 4 digits of decimal, after positive 4 digits of places, take your these digits and use them for finding anti log into your anti log table. Find anti log of 0.28 in column 2 and mean difference 7. In column 0.28, 1914 and add mean difference 3. So you get 1917 again. Take this as power 4. You if you want a decimal after two digits, so minus two here. If you want decimal after one digit, as I'm taking here, adjust it likewise and deduct a decimal number from here. You are left with ten raised to three. You can use up this entire number by simply transferring the decimal number as you wish or however your answer demands you for the solution. This is a third example. Take this number as it is. Add 1. You will get 16. After 16 digit positive digits, the decimal would occur. Then count this <coughs> numbers. Go in column point uh, 1, 2, ka, and there are no number left with. So just find out uh, anti log of point 0.12. If there is nothing left, so you can calculate it like this. See. 0.12 you can calculate it in zero column you will get 1318 the mean difference there is no zero so don't you uh, don't need to add anything so you are left with 1318 into 10 is to 16 says if you want to add decimal after one digit deduct one from here and use up that decimal here so that's it for now i hope that you like this video and if you like this video and you want to see such videos do comment i will try my best to upload it you can comment it down below or you can email me at my email address below uh, signing off by zeba